having taken a look at some of the color and tone controls in ACR6, let's go ahead and look at some of the options for creating more detailed edits. Now I've opened up the detail panel appropriately enough here, and this is where we're going to cover in chapter two the capture sharpening and noise reduction capabilities. Now the noise reduction capabilities in particular are dramatically improved in Camera Raw 6. It's now possible to remove virtually all of the luminance noise, if not all of it, without substantially changing the clarity of the details in your image. This is something that you're going to want to take a look at not only for your most recent shoots, but you're also going to want to revisit some of your older shoots and see what kind of improvements you can make with these sharpening and noise reduction tools. We also have a new lens corrections panel that allows us to create either profiled corrections automatically based on our lens type, or we can make manual corrections much like we've done in the past with Photoshop's lens correction filter. So we're going to cover these in detail as well. And this is a really important capability in Camera Raw. Obviously, anytime you can make edits at the raw level, it's something you're going to want to do both to save yourself time later on and to give yourself the ability to come back and redo the edits if you need to later if the technology changes or there's something about the goals that you have with the image that have changed. So we're definitely going to want to take a look at this. And uh, we also have some new effects here. And we're going to talk about the ability to add simulated film grain. Uh, for example, if we wanted to simulate black and white film. And we also have, of course, the ability to remove different kinds of spots and specks in our image if we've got water spots from our lens or dust spots, uh, either from the lens or from the camera sensor itself. Uh, ACR provides some very simple options for removing those and also for synchronizing those type of edits across multiple images. You can see at the left here, we have the ability to open multiple files in Camera Raw 6. Uh, and if we had two images that we wanted to synchronize one or more of the settings, we could highlight those and then when we click the synchronize button, we have a whole range of options here. And we're going to talk about what these are and how these can help us to speed up our workflow a little bit later. So there's a lot of different things, uh, as you can see, that you can use in Camera Raw to really improve the quality of your shots. So let's go ahead and jump into ACR Fundamentals in Chapter 1.